are. I'd recognize that outfit anywhere. Oh, look, it's Blair's new little assistant. <laughs> Blair, are you okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? Sorry. Did something happen with one of your friends? Did someone ruin your great party? Great? Maybe for the entourage. They're all here because they want me to wear their clothes or partner up on designs or eat my delicious mini donuts. They act like they know me, but no one cares about the real me. I care. What can I do to help? What's your secret? My secret? Yeah, I've seen your photos. You have the best life ever. You're so happy, always having fun with your friends. Uh, uh, well, I want to be happy like that. How'd you do it? My best friend Polly is really the one with the secret. I mean, the happiness secret. What makes her happy? Well, I guess she's happiest when she's doing stuff to help others. Like organizing the food drive. Which I totally bailed on. Huh. Helping people. Well, I thought your secret might have been a juice cleanse or something. I bet I could get some major hearts with helping people Blair. selfies. No, Blair. Polly never thinks about how popular something will be before she does it. She does it because it's the right thing to do. Okay, but what would she do if she were me? She'd do anything to make the food drive a huge success. And for that, we need a little star power. Borders, take, take your, your marks. marks. Get, Get set! set. Now lean hard into the turn. Thanks, Coach Grandma. Hold on! Great job! The pockets are back on the slopes. What's next? After this straightaway, big right turn. You've got this! Listen closely, Gwen. This is imperative. Make sure Polly is in first when you get to the midpoint of the race. Let's just say she won't know what hit her. Copy. Copy what? I'll have to take that as a yes. Don't pay any attention to her. This is your race, Polly. We're gaining on her. No, 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 no! That's not what I want! Grandma, hang on. Out of the way! It's coming right for you! Use the locket, Polly. That's it! Polly? Lila? What are you doing? Finding your rocket. I wasn't trying to cheat with my project. I only shrunk it to make it easier to carry. Yeah! Mrs. Vasquez got the wrong idea! Really? Your project isn't about miniaturization? No, it's about breeding colorful pea plants. I jumped to a conclusion without a complete data set. Scientifically speaking, that's a no-no. <sighs> I'm sorry, Polly. It's okay, Shawnee. Now, I hate to cut this friendship moment short, but if my rocket goes into the compactor, its fuel will go kaboom! Get it! <laughs> Rizelle? Skip the pleasantries and give me the locket! Eat mystery me! <laughs> You wanna play dirty, huh? Ha ha ha! Enjoy Taco Tuesday on Friday! <laughs> the 
ultimate weapon. Old sweat socks from the boys' locker room! <gasps> Give me the locket or you get a face full of sweat sock! Oh, no, no. Not only are they old and smelly, but they're mismatched. Now that is a nightmare. Tiny power! Stuff. The only way you could get me to eat hay is if it was cold pressed and labeled a superfood. Hand it over! Go big! Run! Quick! This way! Gotcha! From somewhere. <gasps> Quit rolling around with that pig, Gwen! We need to get that locket! Trust me, it's, uh, much safer and more chic and darker. Very dark. Come on, everybody. Hold hands and get ready for your voyage into space. Now close your eyes and wish for the most astronomically amazing party ever. Space party! Tiny power. <laughs> this way. Keep your eyes closed. Don't want to ruin the surprise. Okay, open your eyes. <gasps> Jump in, or swing in, or dive in. Or just enter via the stairs at a slow, controlled, and safe pace. Be sure to enjoy a Saturn Sunday or a Milky Way milkshake. And stay tuned for the night's extravaganza. A fashion show. A live performance. And death defying dive from outer space, performed by Polly. <laughs> Look, shrimp. My dad's probably too modest to have told you, but he's one of Little Tin's best architects. Uh, Polly? Yes! His brain is 
very smart. And in his head. <laughs> but the community center is a project close to his heart. He wanted a place where families from all over town could feel at home. Yeah, home, where you wear your swim cap to dinner. Oh, this? It's not a swim cap, it's a bedhead preventer. But since I won't be napping during dinner... Magnificent machine. <laughs> Aren't you just the. <laughs> How dare you, Rugrat, sneak up on the mayor! <laughs> Grizel? Gold breakout! Not another step, or I'll release the bubbler on Littleton. The bubbler? It'll lock the whole town in an impenetrable bubble. What? Okay, we're not going anywhere. Just put down the remote. Little Jim's mine! <laughs> Please do not be alarmed. This test is for your safety and will soon be complete. That is all. Bye, Mom. See you after the dance. What in the space-time continuum is going on here? <laughs> it's not really a test. It's permanent. But that'll keep them calm enough until I can shrink them. Tiny power! Predictable. Gwen, phase two! Yes, boss? What's that stench? I don't know, but I'm feeling awfully sleepy. <laughs> I've been more snooze time lavender extract. All aboard the sleepy train. <sighs> We'll just lower ourselves gently, like a... Come on! Swing! A hundred foot drop and not a strand out of place? Oh, I love that hairspray! Uh. Go big! Not bad. I'll have this up and running again in no time. Unless no time means right now we need new transpo. Yeah. The LMFF committee meeting starts in four minutes, and party planning waits for no girl. Tiny power! <laughs> I'm never going to win this election. And if I'm not mayor, I can't make it a law that Polly Pocket must give me her locket. Oh, it's not pointless. 
I thought the campaign rally was great. You were the only one there. I'm Bonnie Bane's number one fan. Make it rain for Bane. <sighs> oh, the paper says I'm down 40 points. Old Mayor BB Kisser will have it all wrapped up. Hmm. You know who's really good at getting people to like her and vote for her? Polly Pocket. She got everyone at school to vote her the head of the dance committee. I even voted for her. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Get that annoying little go-getter Polly Pocket to campaign for me? 